The guest speaker, Dr. Francis Tamu, while speaking during the seminar, said collaboration between the ministries, their agencies, as well as the international and local investors is the key to achieving results in the transportation sector. He explained that Ethiopia, having the highest growth rate, is attributed to its efficient air and rail transport system. He called on government to direct Nigerian ports to 17 kilometers so as to enable larger vessels to increase job creation and revenue generation. According to him, rail transportation is a catalyst for improved economic growth, poverty reduction, and inclusiveness as it boosts demand for goods and services, enhances competition, creates new jobs, and also ensures good flow of commodities. Report aviation, information, and matters to the outside world. Speaking earlier in his opening remarks, the chairman of Abuja Transport and Aviation Correspondent Association, Ataka, Chris Agabi, stated that the seminar was part of the effort to create an avenue for stakeholders to discuss strategies through which the transportation sector would significantly impact and rescue Nigerian economy. We all agree that um, Nigerian economy isn't doing too well. Um, we believe that there are critical sectors that should enable the economy to grow and transportation is one of those huge enablers all over the world. If you don't have viable transportation uh, industry, it's highly unlikely that your economy will, will perform. The theme of the 2022 Attacker Annual Seminar is titled Nigerian's Troubled Economy, Aviation, Rail, Maritime, as Rescue Sector, Phoebe Gray, in Abuja. Liberty News.